everyone, welcome to another Hands Repair video. Today we're going to be looking at Refox's new bitmap software. So first of all, what is a bitmap software? It's basically a reference software mainly used for board repairs. So it isolates and helps us find components that are related in a specific circuit. And if you've ever seen a motherboard before, you can tell that it's a huge giant mess of electronics. Now, a board view reference software needs two components. The board view side tells us what it is, and the schematic side tells you what that does. So if we just take a look at the Refox bitmap software itself, at the top, we have our basic navigation buttons. And on the left, we have our basic viewing categories, with the most important ones being the bitmap and the schematic. Now, if you click into the bitmap, you will have lots of brands. And if you go into each brand, you will have lots of models. And there are a lot of models. And if you click on a specific file, it will bring up a picture representation of a motherboard. If you already have one open and you click on another one, it'll open the new one in a new tab. Now, personally, I don't really like this color, but in setting, we can change the color templates. I like this one. Now, in the board view itself, if you click on a component, it'll highlight it. You can search for components along at the top, and there is a searchable netlist at the bottom. You can press R to rotate, scroll wheel to zoom, and if you have a net selected, you can press space to cycle through all the components on that net. For some pins, you can toggle diode values and voltage values. The software even has different diode values for victim multimeters and fluke multimeters. And you can even add your own custom user-defined diode values. If you go to one of the schematics, all fields are searchable, and your results will show up on the left. And it's an incredibly good complement to the bitmap, and some models are actually linked in the double view section. Now in the double view section, clicking on a component in the board view will bring you to that component in the schematic. And clicking that component or net name in the schematic will bring you to that component in the board view. And compared to other bitmap softwares, especially the free ones, the whole software is account based so no random dongles taking up your USB ports. It has a bunch more brands and models as you can see, and it even includes MacBooks. Enough talking about this, let's see how we can use this in an actual board repair. So here we have an iPhone 7 that apparently does not turn on. So we're going to hook it up to a power button, slap in a working battery, connect a known good screen, and let's try to turn this thing on to see exactly what it does. And we get exactly nothing, just as we thought. So instead of a battery, we're going to plug in a DC power supply and we're going to see exactly how much power the phone's taking. And that's going to give us an idea of what the phone was doing internally. And it looks like the phone's actually turning on, but there's just nothing on the screen. Okay, let's see what's going on under the microscope. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the display connector itself because I think that's where the problem is. We're going to be using the diode mode to check every single pin. Now in short, the diode mode tells us a resistance value and we can use this value to match up what we have in the Refox bitmap software. We're going to put our positive probe on the ground and our negative probe to the pin that we want to test. And we should get a number for every single pin. Alright, it looks like this one's off. We're going to continue and see if we find anything else. And it looks like this is the only one that's giving us a discrepancy. Let's see what it is in our board view. Okay, so we're going to open up the double view, open up our iPhone 7, and let's zoom into our display connector. So that's J4502, and this is the pin giving us issues, and that is the 5.7 volt display power supply. So it makes sense that if the display isn't getting proper power, it's not going to turn on, but the rest of the phone would turn on. We can click this and it'll bring it up in our schematic. And we can take a look at the net name right here, click that, and it'll bring it to a component in that circuit. 
Now, if we explore the circuit, it looks like it'll bring us to the back of the motherboard near the bottom right here. Okay, why not just flip the board over and see what we find. And whatever this one looks very burnt. And we can actually see what that is on our board view. And it looks like it's FL3912. And this is actually a filter. And a filter basically acts as a bridge connecting one side of the circuit to the other. And it makes sense that if the bridge is broken, it won't connect and we will have problems with the circuit and the display won't be getting enough power. So it looks like we've identified our issue. We're going to replace FL3912 and we'll see if that fixes the problem. We're going to add a bit of flux, a bit of low temperature solder, and we'll see if we can get that burnt piece out of there. Off it goes. Let's clean up those pins by tinning the pads. We're going to get something that's not burnt. Add a bit of heat. Move it so the solder flows onto the component. And that looks pretty good. Let's clean up the excess flux. And let's give it a check. Back with our diode mode. And that looks much better, much closer to our reference. So I'm pretty confident that this should work now. Okay, let's get this board back on. Connect the power button, good battery, good screen, and let's see what happens. There we go, screen works great. Phone turns on. Touch works. And that is a repair done. And as you can see, the Refox bitmap software is absolutely essential for board repairs. I like how it loads files pretty quick. I like how you can define your own dialed values. And I like the constant huge amount of updates that gives you even more board view and schematic files to play with. Now, I personally would like a dark mode, but that's what the feedback button is for. And if you ever get stuck fixing something, check out the repair cases section, see if that can help you out. So check out the Refox bitmap software in the link down in the description. Give it a try yourself. There's a bunch of free models that you can take a look at. And if you're serious about board repair, prices are far lower than anything else that I've seen in the market today. Also check out Rewa. Thanks to them for sending me this over. And if you have any questions, write them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.